fried egg Caesar salad. This is a favorite lunch of mine. It's a really simple salad and we're gonna give it a protein boost with a fried egg. You can cook it to your liking. I will teach you exactly how to do that here shortly, but first we're going to mix up the salad. I am working with romaine hearts that are coming whole. This is the cheaper way to do a salad right now. All you have to do is cut off the stem and then run your knife through the leaves until you get them to the bite size that you like them. It's just cheaper than kind of the already pre-bagged salad mixes. You can run them through your salad spinner if you need to wash them. This is a pre-washed one, so don't have to worry about that, which is nice. It's a little bit of convenience, but also saving some money. I also want to share, if you're not going to eat your salad right away, you need to cut it with a plastic knife. We do have plastic knives that we sell with our whisk kid kids packs those are great for kids because they you know you won't cut uh, your hand or your finger if you're using them but they're also fantastic because the metal from the knife can create oxidation and lettuce and cause the lettuce to brown and start to wilt we do not want that to happen but because i'm going to eat this right now i don't have to worry about that i can go ahead and cut it with my metal knife but it might be worth having a plastic knife on hand if you eat salad on the regular you're trying to save a little bit of money and you need to buy the the head of iceberg or romaine or butter whatever you prefer you can cut it with that plastic knife at the beginning of the week and have salad to eat throughout the week so I'm just going to lop off the bottom here this will regrow you can put it in a little bowl of water if you'd like and I'm just gonna run my knife maybe a half an inch down and then we'll run it sideways again plastic if you are not going to eat this salad right away and then I'm also going to run this direction, get those leaves, the stemmy part down there. Just be careful, make sure you're holding your fingers safely, running your knife down your fingertips like such. Oh, this guy escaped, my word. Okay, and then you can just give it a little toss right into your bowl. If you need to wash it, add it to your salad spinner. I'm gonna cut this guy up. I might even say goodbye to the stem from him. I like the, the crunchiness of the stem, but also I like the leaves. All right, the romaines are also so easy to cut up. It just takes a few. All right, so to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of shaved, shredded, or grated Parmesan. Just a nice cheese compliment. Some croutons you can add now or later. I like the croutons to have a little bit of less, a little crunch, a little softness from the dressing. We're gonna add this here. So this is the salad base and now it is time to get our fried eggs cooked to perfection to go with our Caesar salad. When it comes to cooking the perfect fried egg, you need to think about two things, what fat you're going to be using and what skillet you're going to be using. We'll talk about the skillets first. You can really use any type of skillet. You might get a little bit difference in texture and caramelization of your fried egg, but I'm gonna recommend a non-stick skillet. It really makes it a lot easier for getting the egg either flipped or out of the pan, depending on how you're cooking it. The second thing to think about is what fat you are using. I would recommend and baking fat or butter. You could also use olive oil or canola oil or vegetable oil. Each of the different fats has a different smoke point, so it's gonna cook the egg a little bit differently. It's just really a matter of trial and error to decide which one that you prefer in terms of how the egg is cooked and also any other extra salt or flavor that might be added like from butter or from bacon fat. For today, I'm gonna to use a nonstick skillet and butter to fry up four eggs to go for four salads with our Caesar salad that we just mixed up. So I'm going to turn on over high heat and melt the butter. Then I'm gonna reduce the heat. I think I'm gonna do maybe three to four thin slices of butter. Let that melt. Just coat the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna do two eggs at a time in this pan, which is another reason I'm gonna do over medium heat. I'm gonna reduce that heat now. When cracking your egg and getting it into your skillet, you're gonna to wanna to transfer it from a small bowl. So crack the egg into a bowl, and then you're going to get the bowl super close to the skillet and slide it right in. If you're in a hurry, you could absolutely 
crack it uh, right into the pan, but I recommend doing it this way. You'll get that nice, smooth look. The egg white's gonna spread out real nicely. I'm gonna do this one over here on this side. When cooking fried eggs, there's really four ways that you can do them. You can do sunny side up, which is the egg is fried with the yolk up and you do not flip it. And you're going to let it set until the egg white is completely set. Usually takes one to two minutes for that. Sometimes three, it's gonna depend a little bit on the heat level and the fat that you're using. And then you'll transfer it with the yolk side up, sunny side up, over onto your plate that you can then use for serving. If you're gonna do over easy, over medium, or over well, you will then flip it and continue to cook over easy, another minute, over medium, another two minutes, over well, another three minutes until that egg yolk is cooked all the way through for over well. When you're gonna do two rounds of frying eggs or even more, you're gonna to wanna to reduce the heat. The pan's already pretty hot. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. This butter started to brown just to get a little fresh butter in there. All right, I've got my one egg cracked in here. I'm gonna transfer that on this side. It's gonna, if the pan's so hot, it's gonna fry up real quick. This is almost perfectly ready, sunny side up. You can see there's still a little bit of yellow happening right there. Once that has turned completely white, it's got that giant bubble under there, we can then transfer it over as a sunny side up. Of course, you could flip it and then cook over easy, over medium, or over well. Love the browned butter with the fried eggs. I would say that's my preferred fat. Sometimes I like the saltiness from a bacon fat, but butter works really well. I am using my Chopula for these. I like this because it has a super flat surface. It makes it really easy to get under and slide underneath of these fried eggs as they are cooking. You can also, it's got a thin enough edge that you can use it literally to chop, which is spatula chopper, why, why Chopula is the name of this amazing product. We have these available in our store. They're really easy to shimmy and get underneath of there. Perfect for fried eggs and cooking goodies in your skillet. I also like to use this. It doesn't have as long of a handle out for the grill, but if I'm just doing something quick on the grill, also perfect for pancakes. Really fantastic pancake flipper right here. It's super wide. It has a little bit of edging to hold the pancake there as you flip it, because that's a thing. Did you know that's a thing to hold the pancake on the, yeah, it's a thing. If you didn't know it's a thing, you know it's a thing now. All right, let's get these transferred over and we are going to get our salads assembled. Now time to assemble our Caesar salad. I'm gonna put the pre-mixed salad that we already mixed into our bowl. And I'm just gonna put the fried egg right on top. And then I can use my fork to cut it up and you know, kind of like a hard boiled egg, chopped hard boiled egg is a real common addition. A fried egg is really just perfect as well. You can use fried eggs on all kinds of things in your kitchen. It's a great little protein boost to add for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. For breakfast, probably the most common, most trendy these days is going to be avocado toast, a little bread, a little mashed avocado, or guacamole if you have any like leftover. Uh, and fried egg on top, a little salt and pepper, maybe a little dash of cayenne would be really delicious. I think for a breakfast option, for lunch, of course, we have this fried egg Caesar salad. You could do a grilled cheese. You could do open-faced toast, maybe without the avocado, something like that. For dinner, might I suggest over enchiladas or chilaquiles, if you're a Tex-Mex fan, that is a great option for a fried egg. Also, just over rice, if you're looking for something super budget-friendly, white or brown rice, a fried egg on top, maybe a little hot sauce or salsa of some kind. Again, cayenne pepper would be a good choice. Just think simple, protein boost right there with these eggs, affordable. I know at the time of taping, maybe these aren't so affordable, but I do believe the price will pull back a little bit and this will be a really great affordable protein option for your meals. Let's review when making the perfect fried egg. I want you to, it takes practice. Uh, a little trial and error, which fat you're gonna use, which skillet you're gonna use, how you like them, either sunny side up, over easy, over medium, over well. A little bit of trial and error is going to take you a long way in your journey of cooking in your kitchen. 
If you want to see more cooking videos like this one, we have themes, new themes coming up. This month we're working through eggs. We have new ones coming up each month. We release new episodes every Wednesday at noon central time. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss an upcoming episode.